So here we have Lee Pearson and the 11 year old gentleman. We've all got our fingers crossed here in Greenwich. Um, Lee didn't have a very easy ride two days ago in the first part of the team event. But he comes into this as the reigning Paralympic champion for this individual test. Just watching the walk here, you're looking for the rhythm. You can just see the horse a little bit tense here, Lee trying to settle him down. Just jogging a bit. Better as he comes onto this left hand circle, you can see more relaxation through the horse. The whole frame looks a little bit longer and softer. David, um, Hamer is with me today. Um, David, can you explain something about the difficulties Lee has as, as a rider for his disability? Well, his disability has caused his joints to be fixed in a permanent contracted position, so uh, it makes it very difficult for him to influence the horse with his legs and his hands. He actually has splints on his legs from the hip down to the heel. He's another rider that will quite often use his voice to influence the horse, and you can obviously see he's also carrying a, a whip. there that trot was very nice was fluent consistent and the horse seems to be settling and if you watch the horse's ears here you can see that he's listening to the rider and it's always the first thing that goes um, when there's problems you see that or the tail starts swishing so Lee obviously goes without saying extremely experienced but this horse isn't so easy and is a little bit temperamental so it's going to take all of Lee's skill um, to keep him relaxed. So Lee came into this sport through um, the Riding for the Disabled Association. D David, tell me something about that. Well, we've actually got four riders competing here for Great Britain as part of the British squad who actually started their riding careers with riding for the disabled because riding itself is a very good therapy. The rider has to stabilise himself as the horse is moving so that naturally builds their body strength. Um, and now we can see they're competing for Paralympic medals. So you can see the concentration on Lee's face here. But really the horse is coming into a nice rhythm. He's doing a really good job. Nice transition there that you didn't see. Often you see when they come from the trot to the walk, you see it jerks and they tend to stop and then walk. Um, he really picked it up and you see Lee just patting the horse there, reassuring him, trying to keep the horse on side here. accurate turn there. And it's actually quite, it looks quite easy, but it's quite difficult to keep the rhythm through these turns. And, and that's what the judges are looking for, that the outline, the neck carriage stays steady. Often when you put the bend on the horse, it's very easy for the neck to drop down. And normally you would correct that with the loose use of your inside lower leg. But Lee doesn't have the strength in that, so he has to really use his hips to keep the horse in front of him. What you're trying to do is to make these corrections. You feel the problem instantly, but you have to correct over a series of strides so it's not obvious that you're making these corrections. Really good. I'm really, really happy with that. Well done, job well done, Lee Pearson. Yes, and then he had a 1% lead on the first day, so let's hope he's got a stronger lead today. Yeah, Lee was actually out a whole of last year, um, and an Austrian rider came up and became European champion because Lee wasn't competing due to his broken back. And he ran he ran in a little bit close um, in the team event, so um, we'll wait for the score here in this individual test, see what he can pull up. 
75.39. Well done, Lee. Good secure score. And now Lee has to wait and see how the rest of his class go. Uh, Ricky Bolshaw, the silver medalist in Beijing in Equestrian, is with us. We'll hear from him and uh, we'll also hear from Lee Pearson at Greenwich Park when we come back.